the UK, a traditional standard bearer in higher education, and London, a magnet for overseas students like Shamim. He came here from Bangladesh to study after his parents paid much of their savings towards getting him a degree from a British university. Sadly, the reality when he arrived was very different from the promises he'd been made back home. Hello, Abba. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Kemon aso? Ya, Abba. Hello. Kemon aso? Kemon, tumar kastas ba college tulas kemon chol chhe? Ji, Abba. Hello, sir. Ito kas muda muda hello tu jehe na si, asi hatra. Aar college tu cholta sir, aga muti. Ji, udhishe ge aso tumar course complete kire aasha kuri, tumi deshe fir aasho. Amar hoy chhe na je tumi oike na settle ho. देश है ऐसा देश है देश के किसी दाव देश है तो तो बुजुर्ग दिन एक आस पड़ता सो इवली दिया देश है किसी किसी शेबा को। This film, made in 2011, tells the personal stories of several would-be students like Shamim. तारे ये इतने शॉप में सिलो कि जिधर से बाहर जाओ बालों डों जाओ इकहने के लिए क्या करा करा इतने सिलो तार मनी शॉप में बारे थे के शुरू करे एयरपोर्ट तारिनीय भाभी जैसे कैमोना से कुथाया से देखा कैसे होता चार पांच दिन शे फोन कॉल लो ना तो हमने निजी टेस्ट करी मैंने तारे फोन जो का जो करो जिन्हें तार बहुत तुम्हारा अवस्था जी कैसे करी कैमोना से कुथाया से की अवस्था शुरू भालू की ना तार उन्हें ना कुछ खबर नहीं आ रखी तो इतने ते ये � the way some private London colleges and agents in Bangladesh behaved has since come under heavy scrutiny. But this came too late for young men like Shamim. This year, our hospital is lost. Employment problem. So I'm only going to this year. Why actually have to get the solution? London pretty much has to follow this year. I'm only going because you have opportunities everywhere as long as you know how to do it. इतना ही इंटरेस्ट में लम शकल तो कास्ट सिलो स्वेटर तो ये उसलम लास्ट कॉलम रेस्ट में लम लेकिन हमारे प्रेडियो ची वन इसे खाते नहीं मजा हु हमारे बारे बांग्लादेश अम्म बांग्लादेश तक आस्ती तो बांग्लादेश सिलेटे हमारे हमारे जोगनाथपुर तना सिलेट जोगनाथपुर तो सिलेट तक लेकर हमारे कोर्से सिलेट एमसी बिश्व I am going to take a look at the degree. I am going to take a look at the degree. I am going to take a look at the degree. I am going to take a look at the degree. I am going to take a look at the degree. I am going to take a look at the degree. When I came here, I had a lot of money. 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 बिशाल दिच्छे बोल बोल बिशा हंड्रेड हंड्रेड रुपए हंड्रेड फाइव एक्सो जोन में बिशाल दिच्छे जो मैं एक्सो जोन पे गए थे तो ये मोर तो एक टा मतलब खास काम थका का वार मतलब पूरा एक टा हो चुका शुरू हो गया था बेंगलुरु शायद बेंगलुरु जोड़े तेरे को मुस्ता तो ये शेम मोर तो यार चल मैं द I was a happy guy in back home. I didn't even know that, you know, students visas like student visa and things like that exist because I was just like a very simple guy from a town. In 2011, the British government changed the approval criteria for private UK colleges. This made life tougher for them and their agents in Bangladesh, and also less risky for students applying from there. But anyone thinking of following in Shamim's footsteps should take on board the painful lessons he learned. Came to this country, different world. I mean, you can almost call it like an alien's planet, because 
it's more like you don't know anything here. You don't know how people speak. You know, people had dif different dress, people had different way of talking. Um, it was a cultural shock. Then I thought, you know, you can always adapt to it. In the 2000s, getting a degree from, say, Dhaka University seems no longer enough for many ambitious young Bangladeshis. This and high unemployment helped create the market conditions for malpractice by agents abroad and colleges in the UK. The private colleges, uh, which are not part of the recognized bodies or which are not publicly funded institutions, they actually made their own advertisements. They used their own agents in different countries of the world to attract students to come to their colleges. They also used advertisements in newspapers, especially uh, in third world countries, uh, which allowed students to come to this country. And that's how they made a profitable business uh, of education. A tuition fee by our extra my donor, not on Jay Gojiota, Pastrum Green Jay, a distribution glow, no donate. A shagulu don't tara put to the bottom. Wong Shedak Kubi do Hojono, actor Shamhona Moi, actor Medhavi, Shikatita, Jivon Tina Strajai, Kunorakum Shakta, only line at working line of Haneka, but to a catch Korakumun act, working class at Mudeshe, settled Rajai. Four. Four, three. Four. Yeah. Galaxy, da. Yeah. Okay, UK, UK. UK, UK. college? Ek mane, mane, college ba London College of Law and Business Management. London College of Law and Business Management. Mane, mane, by paper le aaj kal to ane ke jayte si gya bar college toh these scams could only take place because of the visa application process at the time under the UK border agency. I'm Jokon of Dagabasi, the Dagabas of Bosnavatam, the first year of Bosnavatam. The second year of Otara Pore, Otta Kamari, Atio, Gedushum Borg, Atio, only Aisha Bolamara Bagasarki, London Bishas, Japanese Bishas, student Bishas. Once in Tassilami at engineering could work, the diploma Goraj and our course diploma. I diploma Goraj and American Navy CRP. There was a diploma Koya, which I judy settled with the Barrett of Willam. Now, I'm going to go to the engineer line. So, I'm going to go to London. 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 I'm going to go to তারপরে আমি আমার এক ফ্রেন্ডে আমাকে নিয়ে যাওয়ার কথা আর কি তাই আমি সাতটায় গিয়ে ওখানে ল্যান্ড করছি ল্যান্ড করার পর আপনার ওই দিন ছিল রবিবার তো ওই দিন ছিল আপনার ট্রেনে সব লাইন বন্ধ ছিল ওই দিন তারপর আমার আমি 4 ঘন্টা আমার হিতুতে বসে থাকতে হইছে তারপর 11টার সময় আমি গিয়ে পৌঁছাইছি আপনার ইয়াতে হয় চলে না ট্রেনে না আমি গেছিলাম ট্যাক্সি করে প্রায় 66 পাউন্ড এনে ছিল ওই সময় প্রথম যাওয়ার পরে ভাবিনে কখনো যে এত মানে বাংলাদেশ থেকে এত ছাত্র ছাত্র যাইবে আর কি তো যাওয়ার পরে দেখতেছি যে মানে বাঙালি আর বাঙালি হোয়াইট চেভেল তো তো এইটাই এইটাই মনে হয় যেটা সিলেটের কোন একটা দেশ শুধু বাংলাদেশ না এটা সিলেটের কোন একটা ইয়া মনে হয় 
Many of the private colleges offering places to overseas, particularly Bangladeshi students, were located in East London, often around Whitechapel. Many had similar, if not the same, addresses. They had convincing-looking websites, particularly to someone who'd never visited the UK. I Colleges recruited agencies to attract students to enroll with their institutions. So they established a relationship with the institutions. Colleges offered them commissions, colleges offered them bonuses, and colleges also offered them different types of types of uh, advantages. Our Bangladesh student consultancy firm, where by the student to student part hai. So, got to do in much more, much more student London has done for the higher study journal. More than thirty thousand students already that London has done for the different schools, different university colleges. Before coming, any student come to the UK, the agent tell me something like that. Yeah, your college is nice. If any student want to know about this college, they show the website. So my first college, this is page for London Business College. So this is really this different. When they come here, the website pictures and this college pictures is totally different. If any student look such kind of website, why not they believe? Because uh, you see the students, you see the, what kind of facilities it shows, but really it is different. The internet is different. The campus is different. The campus is different. Because it shows is this London Business College, one of leading business colleges in the UK. If you go to London Business College, you think, oh, it's, it's like five classrooms, two, two three um, staff. So it's not like one of leading college in the UK for business. Uh, if a college have only four or five classrooms, how they provide the auditorium facilities, how they provide for library facilities. So when I was in the college, I had three rooms. UKB, that's the UK government, told some Bangladeshi young student, do you have student ID? No need to be a good student. Yeah, then come in this country. That's what the wrong concept. We have received many allegations that uh, agencies took the money, however, they did not transfer the money to the college, to the United Kingdom. And when the students arrived in this country, they were approached by the college for the tuition fees and they had the problems because they couldn't prove that the money was transferred to the colleges. And the college was then demanding uh, extra monies to the students, which they couldn't pay. After a year, I found that my admission in my college wasn't real. Those guys from the agency in back home, they just made it up. The embassy, they never looked. Station is Stepney Green. They have only one or two rooms. There's no classes. So it would only interest me, make me interested to study. If I see a good environment, if I go to college, see lots of students, you know, see teachers, libraries, into the cafe, like a college life, not one room where three guys are sitting down talking and telling me how to extend my visa next time. And they were never good enough to teach me anything because they just don't have anything to teach me. College owner, they build the college to earn money. And if you 
uh, if you take a, one certificate from England, you can use it any part of the world, is it? And wh wh what was my ambition? My ambition, okay, I go to college, that's fantastic college, yeah? But I don't know there is only two rooms. That's 2005, there was only two rooms. But I saw in, this, uh, in a book, there is a, uh, there's a big building, the college. So that's also a mistake from UKB also. Why? Because they are giving license some Bugas scholars. Jeremy Oppenheim was head of the immigration group at the UK Border Agency from November 2011 to February 2013. What we can't do as a UK Border Agency is get involved in the contractual arrangements between the student and that college. That, paying that money over was a matter for the student. And I'd only again commend people Think really carefully before you hand over large sums of money to colleges that advertise beautifully but may not actually, when you scratch beneath the surface, have the same sorts of facilities. Private colleges offering marvelous education, uh, but I don't think they are the majority. And I think there are sadly a wide range of others who exploit uh, people and don't follow through on the promises that they make. Well, on part of the agencies, they actually wanted to make money uh, because we have lots of examples where students were actually defrauded. I am a student of Dhaka University. I have done my graduation from Dhaka University. It was my dream to go to UK for higher education. When I went to the local agency, uh, the boss of the local agency told me that I will desperately try you to, uh, for your visa. I am happy to see you. I am a student of Dhaka University. I am a student of Dhaka University. Student. Private college teachers to come. Uh, to come. Private colleges kuna mane exam kuna nama se kuna example da se kila colleges tikamu. London College of Business. Hmm. Learn business. Balo. Ase on gula. Campus Dexon. Na shunsen na ki campus isti balo thak. Campus Dexon. 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 So when I went to the, his office, he sent, uh, he uh, gave me a confirmation letter of a UK college. When I browsed the internet, I found this college is a fake college. So when I found this through internet, I got a stone is, uh, I have been victim of cheat. I have been victim of fraud. So, not finding any way at the final stage, destroying or spending more than two lakh taka, I had decided not to go UK for my higher education. Jeshi, I'm not sure if the college is blacklisted, I guess. No, I don't know. I guess. When students like Babu were planning to come to the UK, the system of licensing private colleges was not strict enough. Places like the now defunct London College of Law and Business could offer spurious courses and charge unsuspecting foreign students high fees because of a lack of monitoring. In 2011, the rules changed and a college now has to be licensed as a highly trusted sponsor for the UK border agency to issue visas to students applying to study there. Say exactly who are owning these colleges. However, I would say uh, some people are settled in this country. Some people are even migrants and are temporary visas. Uh, they're running these colleges because this is an opportunity and the process is very easy. So procedure, because the procedures are not complicated to run a college or establish a college, so all types of people can take this advantage and that's what happened in this country. Yeah, I mean, I still am highly touched to college. Mm -hmm. Maybe 24,000 students take colleges in English proper colleges. 
তো আমাদের এনডিআর একটা প্রিন্সিপাল হচ্ছে এনডিআর একটা বাঙালি একটা দুই তিনটার সাথে কন্ট্রাক্ট করলো যে বাংলাদেশ থেকে ইন্টারনাল স্টুডেন্ট নিয়ে আসি তাদের শুধু বিশালটা ইস্যু করে দিই তার সাথে একটা তাহলে দুই তিনজন ছিল তো আমরা এসএসসি কোর্স নিয়েছিলাম অ্যাকাউন্টিং যেটা এসএসসি কোর্স নেওয়ার পরে সেখানে আমরা কন্ট্রাক্ট করে আসলাম যে তিন বছরে আমরা সিক্স থাউজেন্ড ফান্ড পে করবো তিন বছরের কোর্সটা টা ছিল তো ফার্স্ট ইয়ার স্টেশন পে পুরো পে করে আসলাম পেড করে আসলাম তখন আমরা বুঝছি বুঝছিলাম না যে এটা যে সাউথ ইন্ডিয়ান কলেজে আমরা আসছিলাম সেটা কন্ট্রাক্ট করেছিল আর একটা বই একটা ইনস্টিটিউট এখনও তারা মানে লাইসেন্স পায়নি ফ্রম ইউবি এখানে <laughs> তো একটা লেটার পাওয়া কলেজে গেছি যোগাযোগ করছি বলে তোমার সাবজেক্ট অর্ডার করে ফেলছি আমরা এই সাবজেক্টটা আর করাবো না তার কারণটা কি তার কারণটা কিছু না আমরা সাবজেক্ট করাবো না তোমার স্টুডেন্ট ভালো না এরকম এরকম মাত্র তিন চার মাস গেছে মাত্র একটা পরীক্ষাই হয় নাই মেনলি আমরা পরে জানতে পারছি আমাদের যে কলেজের তাদের যে অবস্থা ছিল তাদের যে কন্ট্যাক্ট ছিল আমাদের সাথে তারা কোনো টাকা পে করে নাই সেই জন্য আমরা এই জিনিসটা করছি সেই জন্য আমরা এই দুশো স্টুডেন্ট প্রায় দুশো স্টুডেন্ট ছিলাম আমরা সাফারটা করছি পে করছি টাকা সবগুলো সব রিসিড আছে এভরিথিং সব কিছু এখানে দিয়ে আসছি তো আমরা কী করবো আমরা কিছু করার নেই তখন তো সবাই অসহায়ের মধ্যে পড়ে গেছে একটা সাফারের মধ্যে পড়ে গেছে সবাই কী করবে না করবে সবাই টেনশন করতেছে ঘুরে করতে they come in this country we should not destroy their life we should not uh, make them product but on the for money they are making more for the student they're using most of the student as a product when a disaster happens it is very difficult to get hold of the people responsible because they can actually escape and there is no no procedure and there is no watch in real sense to catch these people if uh, students are defrauded by them. Even we have received allegations from lots of students that college is shut down and they just took the money one month before uh, tuition fees for the whole year, but they didn't refund the money. College is shut down, people are not there, and the students have no place to go to. Unfortunately, the UKBA hasn't come forward to help these students who have been uh, victimized. Uh, uh, by the greed uh, of some people. The bad publicity all of this generated for British universities has damaged, by association, the reputation of genuinely high-class education institutions. This has contributed to a drop in overseas student numbers in the past two years. Until recently, agents in Bangladesh colluded with private colleges in the UK to bring would-be students to London with the promise of superior higher education. The reality on the ground was often shabby premises, non-existent facilities, fake websites, high fees, but no education. থ্যাংস কনসালটেন্ট আচ্ছা আপনাদের মানে ইউকের ইয়ে ব্যাপারে আমি একটু জানতে চাচ্ছিলাম জি জি আচ্ছা 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 এখন মানে জব অপরচুনিটি কেমন বা ও আচ্ছা আচ্ছা মানে এখন মানে আপনার মানে ইউজুয়াল মানে নর্মাল মানে পার উইক কেমন পাওয়া যায় আর কি মোটামুটি ইয়েটা A student finds themselves in a position of having operating through an agent, uh, got themselves onto a course, paid money, bought their tickets, and then just before they travel, they found the college to which they're going doesn't have, it doesn't feel like the right place. I'd say two things. 
I'd say firstly, don't use an agent unless you need to. Why use an agent when we have a perfectly simple system of application? And secondly, don't pay out all that money until you're absolutely sure that the education provider you want to go to is legitimate. It's not for me to comment on the UK Borders Agency. I think if you're going to buy something, then I think you have to take some responsibility to make sure that you're buying a product that is worth the price you're paying for. Uh, it's like if I'm going to buy a plane ticket, I will make sure that, pl that airline exists, that plane is going to take me somewhere. I don't want to to the tuition. But I don't want to go to government, but I don't want to go to the government. I don't want to go to fraud. I don't want to go to tuition. I don't want to go to education department, state department, I don't want to go to Oxford College. Oh, London. it's hard for us to know how many colleges there are that are unapproved in London because by the very nature of them being, them being unapproved, we wouldn't know about it. There are over 600 approved colleges in London and any student interested in knowing which colleges are approved for immigration control purposes can just look on our public register which is on our website. There are some private colleges who do not provide quality education or even we have found example that there are colleges who do not provide any education at all. Uh, we have received allegations from these students that what their expectation was was not fulfilled. So they even lots of students complained to the United Kingdom Border Agency uh, in this regard. Since about April, uh, 2011, we've revoked the licenses of over 70 70 colleges and we'll continue to do so day in day out to make sure that only colleges following the immigration rules are able to bring students in from outside the European Union. In April 2011, the UK Border Agency did tighten up the rules. Visas can now only be issued to students if a college is on the list of highly trusted sponsors. But this change came too late for Jabba rule. So, she can a Dimash Fitaxi, Caspine, for a to shake the Caspegacy, restaurant TPC. Bangal Communities of Soma, Ecta Bosha, the great student, so I should put on a student axe or pay. Comfort is a wise student now, when you are at Kawataka, was not a hoy, I just don't এখানে <laughs> The majority of high street Indian restaurants in the UK are run by Bangladeshis. Many young men, like Jabarul, find poorly paid work in the kitchen. But if they're on student visas, they may not have the right to work. <laughs> আসলে <laughs> Business. 
the student people, uh, the student owner, they are giving student two pound, three pound per hour, per week fifty pound. That's how they are making money. And also, a student, you know, if they get per week fifty pound, that means monthly two hundred pound. So they can take a big house, a big room for themselves. Okay, and they are sharing with other people. There is three people in a room. अच्छा चल जहाँ तो हमारा बांग्लादेशी कल्चर हमारा शायद तो गुड था कि हमारा शुरू इंडिविजुअल शायद तो मैंने तीन चार जन मिले कुन एक हाउस तर एक्यूमेशन नहीं है ना ये तो तादेश जो लो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव है शायद हम तो एवरेज देखा जाता है जब पचातुत थे के दर्शो पाउंड अमन एवरेज एट रेट में तो ह शेयर रूम होते वाले, शेयर हाउस होते वाले, मैक्सिमम कितने शेयर हाउस हो, शेयर रूम तो है ना, शेयर हाउस। There's always going to be unfortunately scrupulous landlords who will exploit vulnerable people, poor people. Likewise, there's always going to be, I think, rogue employers. I think it's important before students arrive here that they make sure that they have made arrangement for their accommodation and then they have means of supporting themselves. And if they just simply arrive here in a foreign country, then I think they will be vulnerable and they will be exploited, unfortunately. Uh, the local authorities certainly look at exploitation very seriously, but as you said, if people don't report, if people are not willing to give evidence, then there's nothing you can actually do. It's quite clear that some individuals are exploited by uh, unscrupulous individuals, whether they be agents or others. Um, we, throughout the United Kingdom, in London and all the major towns and cities, do regular interventions. I don't want to call them raids because it sounds rather extreme, but we visit a wide range of restaurants and other employment settings. And what we do is we check the um, immigration status of the individuals. Are they entitled to work or aren't they? And if they are not entitled to work, we will regularly arrest them, we will detain them, and we will work towards deporting people from the United Kingdom. So my advice to anybody finding themselves in a, a restaurant, whether it be in the East End of London, or in the centre of Sheffield, Leeds, Bradford or Glasgow, is unless you are entitled to work and your visa says you're entitled to work, don't work. You run the risk of being arrested, detained and deported and banned from coming back to the United Kingdom uh, for up to 10 years. Lots of students coming to this country uh, are not, their background are not wealthy background and they actually have to work for survival and lots of employers are taking this advantage. They make students work for hours but pay, mi pay the minimum amount of uh, uh, wages. They just work hand to mouth. So I used to be very disappointed at the beginning, thinking am I going to be able to find a job or you know, even a good job, because you could find a job in a Bengali restaurant at that time very easily, which was a place like hell for a guy like me. You know, they would treat you really bad in 90% restaurants, such as taking your tips and you know, paying you really shit money, treating you like you're a slave. I did not know uh, how other people live in this planet, you know. I, I had no clue that I'm just a normal guy, just like anyone else in the street. And what they're doing, I can do that too. Just, you know, go out, look for a job in wherever. You know, I thought, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna work for just those Bengali guys. I'm gonna move on. And then I started looking for a job. I found a job in a bar. Undergrade or Nikkei gets a Halo family chill away. Although there are Takabasha or Patat chicken to Urukum at the Abad Shamaspe Takon Taraneke on a Ekane Jeta de Shanskiti J Bondo Neum Kanun Shigulu, the Baile Chulajaton, there are Nathache Bangali, now Chetara English, now Matara Muslim culture, Baono de Dorma Rishi culture, Yakutepache. I had to listen to my parents for most of the things in my life when I was back home. It was a good thing because they always gave me good advice and I couldn't do anything bad in front of them. I couldn't stay outside my house. 
after 10 o'clock at night when I was back home. My father would just go outside, find me and say, don't stay late. In this country, you have uh, too much freedom like people like us, you know. And uh, when we come here, we just are not monitored by anyone. We do whatever we want. We want to enjoy our life and for some people like me, we just enjoy too much. And sometimes it doesn't work well. You can stay awake at home, but not outside the house. And I liked it. Now I know I liked it because this was to make me a good person. I see here, I have no problem. I can stay outside whole night I want. I can, I can take drugs if I want, you know, I can just do anything I want. So sometimes independence, freedom is not good. I've got lots of students who is starting in Dhaka University. You know Dhaka University is the, is the yeah, best one in Bangladesh, yeah? But uh, there, are, there is lots of students who finish second year from Dhaka University and he come in this country in some college. There is nothing here. So now he's, he's, he's doing nothing. He, his, uh, his life is 100% destroyed now. Because he didn't finish his degree from Dhaka University, uh, some agent or some college owner or some friend, some people uh, tell them, come here and we, you can finish degree from England. And he come here, he admitted some dozy college. Now college is suspended and he's now crying. He has nothing to do now. I have to do something now. I have to do something now. I have to do Brendan Dutron, Erector, Medhabi Jarajai, give Firiashana. Shadow Madrasa, Jama, the teacher, the Mudras, the university teacher. Our actor Brendan Hulo, J. Amade, Medhabi Chile Mera, Q undergrade, Kimoko post Gadejace, G. Tara, Ubujuk to Pudishan Pachanakani, Tara Potorona Shikaruchi, Jacota Volta Butuce, Shadron, Kostra Pachan, Poletara, Survival Journal, the Baddoe. অত অন্য কোর্স পড়ছে বন্যভাবে তারা সারভাইভ করছে কিন্তু ফাইনালি এটা একটা খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট যে এটা একটা খুবই বাজে ব্যাপার হচ্ছে যে এই যে একটা মেধা অপচয় হচ্ছে মানে ওই সায়েন্স স্টাডি করতে পারবে সিন্স হি কাম ফ্রম আ সায়েন্স ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড but because he's from a science background, can a science or a person? Computing. Hmm. Well, just be computing, but nothing like biology or anything like this, or, or physics or anything like this, no? You have to remember biology, physics, these courses hmm. are offered only by the university. It is a ridiculous thing that uh, they have no campus, no official room, no classroom in their campuses. Only they have a nameplate uh, which is put uh, over their building. It is the responsibility of UK Border Agency because UK Border Agency has introduced this system okay, and they know that if a Bangladeshi student or a student from third world countries come to UK, they know it very well. What? For what reason? Because they want to earn huge amount of money, victimizing such kind of student from third world countries. So, when they are more to holo, so I had my hope to go up the guys to this and a man class niche and I come to the Kurtisana. So, when coexion, good coexion, is that each amount of Nokola Jacob for laboratory, that's soon that leg and Sapunichi. We shake an echo at a college, a Eastern Business Competing College. তো সেখানে আমি চলে আসলাম এরকম আমার ফ্রেন্ড যারা আসছিল সেখানে তো দুই তিনটা কলেজ অনেক আছে এখনো কলেজে ভর্তি হয় নাই এরকম অবস্থা আছে মোটামুটি আর কি দিন পাঁচ চলতেছে আর কি এরকম কোন সময় কার কলেজ বন্ধ হয়ে যায় 
A mix of disillusionment, homesickness and terrible living conditions meant that the young Bangladeshis who fell victim to the fake college scams could simply not wait to get back home. I am a thing I want to go back is it's my life I want to leave it London is not my home and I'm here without anyone in my life I want to go back make a difference see my family live with my parents they're getting old you know if I if they die without seeing me what's the point of my life so I want to go back to find the real meaning of my life <laughs> I'd finally say, if I may, that I believe that British education is world beating. It's as good as anything there is in either America or Australia or anywhere else. But make sure you're going to world beating establishments. UK government are highly trusted to provide highly education and they are renowned and popular for their higher education. So if this trend further continues in UK, the situation, education uh, system and education standard of UK will be deteriorated in near future. Bangladesh <laughs> London <laughs> Shajib's disappointment was crushing. The UK trusted sponsor legislation has radically reduced the number of bogus colleges and corrupt Bangladeshi agents. 
But nothing can undo the disappointment of those whose educational dreams have been shattered. আমার ছেলে বিদেশে গেছে বা ইংল্যান্ড গেছে লেখাপড়া করতে হয়তো দুই বছর তিন বছর আমি খুব গর্ববোধ করতাম মানুষকে বলতাম আমার ছেলে ইংল্যান্ড থাকে লেখাপড়া করে কিন্তু এখন লজ্জা লাগে বলতে যে আমার ছেলে ইংল্যান্ড থাকে কারণ এটা এমন অবস্থা হয়ে গেছে আমাদের সাধারণ মানুষের মধ্যে এই যাওয়াটা এমন অবস্থা হয়েছে যে যে আমি বলতেও পারি না যে আমার ছেলে ইংল্যান্ড থাকে 